Hi students! Welcome back again to another episode of Learning. For today's video, pag-aaralan natin ang properties of trapezoid. We have here the general properties, properties of isosceles trapezoid, and the median of a trapezoid. Let's first have the parts of a trapezoid. Alam naman natin na ang trapezoid ay isang quadrilateral kung saan may isang pair ng parallel sides. So, ang basis ng ating trapezoid ay ito yung sides na parallel. So, in the given figure, we have AD and BC as the basis of the trapezoid dahil silang dalawa yung parallel. Next, we have the base angles. Ang base angles ay angles na nabuo sa ating uh, bases. Kaya siya tinawag na base angles. We have the lower base angles, itong angle A at saka angle D. At upper base angles, angle B at saka angle C. Next, we have the legs. Kung ang bases ay parallel sides ng trapezoid, ang legs naman ay ang non-parallel sides. So, in the given figure, we have A, B, and C, D as the legs of the trapezoid. Next, we have the general properties of the trapezoid. Number one, the lower and upper base angles on one leg are supplementary. Anong ibig sabihin niyan? So, angle A and angle B here are supplementary. Sila yung tinatawag nating lower base and upper base angles on one leg of the trapezoid. Ito yung leg ng trapezoid. We have AB. Ang base angles na naroon ay itong angle A at saka angle B. So, they are supplementary. Ganun din, we have angle C and angle D are supplementary. Kapag sinabi natin supplementary, ang sum nila ay 180 degrees. Next, we have the median of the trapezoid. So, the median of the trapezoid is half the sum of the bases. Kapag sinabi natin median, it is the segment which joins the midpoints of the legs of the trapezoid. So, we have here point E and point F as the midpoints of AB and CD respectively. Dahil ang E ay midpoint ng AB, then we have AE is equal to EB. Ganun din, dahil ang F ay midpoint ng CD, CF is equal to FD. At kapag nai-connect natin ang kanilang midpoint, ito ang tinatawag nating median. So, the length of the median is the average of the length of the bases. Kapag sinabi natin average, ito nga, yung, ito nga yung half the sum of the bases. Next, we have the properties of isosceles trapezoid. Kapag sinabi natin isosceles trapezoid, the legs are congruent. So, these legs, line segment AB and line segment CD are congruent or pareho sila ng sukat. So, that is by definition of isosceles trapezoid. Next, the second property, diagonals are congruent. So, AC is equal to BD. They have the same measurement. Next, the upper and lower base angles are congruent. So, itong uh, lower base angles natin, angle A, is equal to angle D. Ganon din ang upper base angles, angle B, is equal to angle C. Next, number 3, a pair of lower and upper base angles are supplementary. Katulad kanina sa general properties, it also applies to isosceles trapezoid. Ito yung sinasabi nating pair of lower and upper base angles. So, angle A and angle B are supplementary. Angle C and angle D are supplementary. And the last one, opposite angles are also supplementary. So, angle A plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. Angle B plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees. Now, let us apply the properties of trapezoid in the following examples. Example A. Given trapezoid TRAY, answer the following. So, this is a general trapezoid dahil wala naman sinabi rito na congruent parts. If angle T is equal to 153 degrees and angle A is equal to 54 degrees, find angle R and angle Y. So, nilagay ko rito ang measurement ng angle T at saka angle A. To find angle Y, we have 180 degrees minus angle T dahil ang angle Y at angle T ay supplementary. So, 180 degrees minus 153 degrees, the measure of angle T is equal to 27 degrees. Next, angle R is equal to 180 degrees minus angle A dahil ang angle A at angle R are supplementary. So, 180 degrees minus 54 degrees, the measure of angle A is equal to 126 degrees. Next, number 2, if angle T is equal to 5x plus 40 degrees and angle Y is equal to x plus 2 degrees, find angle T. So, 
Gawa muna tayo ng equation para masolve natin yung x. Okay? So, we have angle T plus angle Y is equal to 180 degrees based on the property of trapezoid. Angle Y and angle T are supplementary. Then, we have 5X plus 40, the measure of angle T, plus X plus 2, the measure of angle Y. Hindi ko siya nilagyan ng parenthesis dito dahil plus naman ito. Kung minus, maglalagyan ka, maglalagay ka ng parenthesis. Is equal to 180. Then, we have 6X plus 42, so that is 5X plus X, 6X, 40 plus 2I, 42, is equal to 180. 6X is equal to 180 minus 42, nilipat natin yung plus 42. 6X is equal to 138, so X is equal to 23. Next, to solve for angle T, we have to, sub we have to substitute the value of X in this given measurement. So, 5 times 23, the value of X plus 40 is equal to 115 plus 40 is equal to 155 degrees. Example number 3. If PQ are midpoints of TY, RA, TR is equal to 15 and AY is equal to 19, find PQ. So, dito, ang PQ natin ay median of the trapezoid dahil ang P ay midpoint ng TY at ang Q naman ay midpoint ng RA. So, ang TR daw ay 15, ito yon at ang AY naman natin ay 19. So, para makuha ang length ng PQ, which is the median, kukunin natin ang average ng bases. So, PQ is equal to 15 plus 19 over 2 is equal to 34 over 2 is equal to 17 units. Next, number 4, if PQ are midpoints of TY, RA, TR is equal to X plus 6, PQ is equal to 2X minus 10, and AY is equal to 2X minus 7, find PQ. Gawa muna tayo ng equation para masolve ang X. Since PQ is the median, then PQ is equal to TR plus AY over 2. Then, by substitution, PQ is equal to 2X minus 10 is equal to X plus 6, ito yung ating TR, plus 2X minus 7, ito yung ating AY over 2. So, by cross multiplication, iko cross natin ito, then we have 2 times the quantity 2X minus 10 is equal to X plus 2X is 3X, 6 minus 7 is negative 1. Then, by distributive property, 2 times 2x is equal to 4x, 2 times negative 10 is equal to negative 20 is equal to 3x minus 1. Then, 4x minus 3x, nilipat ko yung 3x, is equal to negative 1, plus 20, nilipat yung negative 20. So, 4x minus 3x is equal to x, is equal to negative 1 plus 20 is 19. Then, to solve for PQ, we have to substitute x is equal to 19, 2, 2x minus 10, kasi yun yung length ng PQ. So, PQ is equal to 2x minus 10 is equal to 2 times 19 minus 10. This is the value of x. 2 times 19 is 38 minus 10 is equal to 28. Let's have example B. Given trapezoid PURE with PE is equal to UR, answer the following. This time, meron na tayong isosceles trapezoid dahil PE is equal to UR. So, if angle E is equal to 38 degrees, find angle P, angle U, and angle R. So, ito yung ating angle E which is 38 degrees. So, to find the measure of angle P, isosubtract natin itong 38 degrees sa 180. So, 180 degrees minus 38 degrees is equal to 142 degrees. Next, to find angle U, so angle U is equal to angle P by the property of isosceles trapezoid. Itong upper base angles are congruent. So, 142 degrees din siya. Next, angle R is equal to angle E is equal to 38 degrees. Ang lower base angles ng isosceles trapezoid ay congruent. Next, number 2. If angle E is equal to 2x plus 60 degrees, and angle R is equal to 3x plus 15 degrees, find angle P. Since ang given natin ay lower base angles, para masolve natin ang x, we just equate angle E is equal to angle R. So, by substitution, 2x plus 30 is equal to 3x plus 15. Then, 2x minus 3x, nilipat yung 3x, 
is equal to 15 minus 30, nilipat yung plus 30. So, 2x minus 3x is equal to negative x is equal to 15 minus 30 is negative 15. Then, x is equal to 15. So, angle E is equal to 2 times 15 plus 30 by substitution. Pinalitan natin yung x ng 15 plus 30 is equal to 60 degrees. So, ang angle E natin ay 60 degrees. Since yung angle P at angle E ay supplementary, para makuha yung angle P, minus lang natin yung measure ng angle E sa 180 degrees. So, angle P is equal to 180 minus 60 is equal to 120 degrees. Next, number 3. If angle P is equal to 3x minus 33 degrees and angle R is equal to x plus 29 degrees, find angle U. Since angle P at angle R are opposite angles, then they are supplementary based on the property of isosceles trapezoid. So angle E plus angle R is equal to 180 then 3x minus 33 by substitution, ito yung measure na angle P, plus x plus 29, the measure of angle R, is equal to 180. 3x plus x is equal to 4x, negative 33 plus 29 is equal to negative 4, is equal to 180. Then 4x is equal to 180, yung negative 4 nilipat natin kaya naging plus 4. 4x is equal to 184, then divide both sides by 4, then x is equal to 46. To find the measure of angle U, hanap tayo ng equivalent niya. So, angle U is equal to angle P. Dahil sila ay upper base angles, is equal to 3 times 46. Ito yung 3x minus 33. Pinalitan natin yung x ng 46. So, minus 33 is equal to 105 degrees. Next, number 4. If PR is equal to 9x plus 9 and UE is equal to 4x plus 18, Find PR. Since PR and UE are diagonals of the isosceles trapezoid, then they are congruent. So we have the equation PR is equal to UE, just substitute PR is 9x plus 3, and UE is 4x plus 18. Then we have 9x minus 4x is equal to 18 minus 3. Nilipat yung 4x kaya naging negative, yung 3 nilipat din kaya naging negative 3. Then, 9x minus 4x is 5x. 18 minus 3 is 15. Divide both sides by 5, so x is equal to 3. Then, PR is equal to 9x plus 3 siya. Kaya, 9 times 3, substitute the value of x plus 3 is equal to 30. 